Hello, welcome back to my channel. My name's Akina and this video about is about how failure can lead to success. I thought I'd do this video because there's so many people out there that feel awful or ashamed or embarrassed after they've failed an exam or a test of some sort, which is so common and is actually normal. Like, <clears throat> so I've read this book called Think and Grow Rich, which is basically about how, um, what, what, what principles you should use to sort of plan and <coughs> plan towards success because there's many people who have dreams and like but they don't really plan how they're going to get there <coughs> which is quite, also quite common and yeah so I've been reading this Think and Grow Rich book and it's so interesting because it talks about persistence, planning, having desire, faith and you know it's actually, it does definitely 100% make sense because like some people have a dream but they don't really believe in this, so they don't really plan towards it and you know their behaviour just doesn't make any sense because they have this big huge goal and they're not really doing anything to work towards it, which happens, it's normal. Lots of people procrastinate before the exam, so, but it's just about having that plan in place and just being persistent with it. So what are my my goal at the moment is to pass my driving test um i've spent so much money on lessons i've i've had a few tests already and you know people say oh you're trying too hard you're trying too hard to pass and you know you need to relax more and those people have got loads of tips of what i need to do to um to pass and one friend actually suggested that i don't take any more tests so where's that going to lead me Anyway, so I did obviously didn't take that advice. I've booked, I've booked another test. And yeah, sometimes you can um, have a goal and take an exam too soon before you're ready, but so what? So, so what? Like, it's, you know, you're not going to lose anything from it, just a bit of money. So, you know, some people might say that you've, you know, not ready for that interview. So what? Just go for it. Like, you know, yeah you're going to get that experience in and that experience is definitely going to benefit you. So I think what really, really, really needs to happen before you succeed, you definitely need to surround yourself with friends um, who are willing and wanting to support you 100%. You know, if you're around people who are negative or, you know, are not really not really giving you advice that's beneficial you know then just don't spend time with them <laughs> at least before at, le at least until you've taken that test or that exam um be persistent make a plan how many minutes you go spend a day a week studying or practicing you know and yeah so once you've made that plan like faith i think even visu visualizing yourself past like why do you want to pass like think about what is motivating you to put yourself through the stress of an exam and yeah so if you have in mind what is motivating you and what you're what what you're trying to achieve and why you're trying to achieve it then you're most likely going to be committed to putting the effort in to achieve that success basically and that's just a short video just a piece of advice there um obviously i use it myself and you know, I used it whilst I was in uni because so, there was so much to do in uni. I had placement, I had essays, and I also wanted to fit in the gym, and I wanted to fit in going out with my friends. So, yeah, so planning is something where you can definitely influence the correct ratio within your life. And, yeah, thank you for watching. Subscribe to my channel, comment below, and uh, see you in my next video.